All right, guys, welcome to FabTech 19. Let's see what the show has to offer. Let's go. In January at World of Concrete, we introduced X-Lock. We're here at FabTech to show it again because it's now available to buy. Um, it comes in four and a half and five inch, corded and cordless. The really fascinating thing about this grinder is all you need to do is pull this lever to release the wheel, and then it snaps right back onto place, like that. And that's how easy wheel changes are now. You don't need a spanner. Um, you don't need, if you're doing spin-on wheels, you don't need those anymore. This is all you need, grinder and wheel. Super intuitive. Now how does it compare cost-wise? So in line with standard pricing in the market today. So you're not gonna see a big uptick. So a special thank you goes out to all the viewers who stopped in the aisles and said hi. It was awesome meeting all of you guys, hearing your stories, where you are in your businesses, young, old, established businesses, just getting started. It's never going to stop being weird getting recognized out in public, but it's awesome being part of the community and meeting you guys. Now a special thank you goes out to all the folks here on the screen and the few who I got to meet in person at the show as my patrons over on Patreon supporting what we're doing here on the channel, getting a little bit of the behind the scenes on the business side, and making stuff like this make a little bit more sense for my wallet. Thank y'all again.
Okay, They're, these are positive pressure devices, so they don't require any fit testing. They're loose fitting pappers, okay? So as the filter gets loaded, that yellow light would alert. It would blink and come on and say, hey, my, my airflow is getting, getting a little bit too low. So this tool is electrically actuated, has the ability to pick up one, two, or three washers. So that means that we can de-stack then sheet metal. Big boy show. That sure beat hand unloading the sheets. put it to approximately where you want to go, lock it down, and now you got a fine adjust tool. Dial yourself in. What's it using for the measurement? You got a, you got a strip on the back? Yep, inductive okay. scale on the back, uh, just like uh, yeah. just like a magnetic strip, yep. but different. Like a set of calipers? Yep, exactly. It's a big set of calipers, except this is your jaw, and that's your other jaw. Yep. Um, so you put your piece in, and take your cut. You get your cold saw, your band saw, even a drill press if you want. This seems to be the theme for Fabtech. I found myself in another security hallway. <laughs> oh no, I needed to go somewhere that there wasn't a direct path to except for this one. Found the forklifts again. Only some of them. Another lift. Alright, so they let us in to the industry night because I got a press pass. My buddy Adam from Rich17 on Instagram is helping out as cameraman. And uh, let's go check it out. Let's see what the other 1% uh, does. Everything has to be completely gone. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, we're at. 30, 41 seconds. I won.
if I can lock this thing up, this lead lock on my welding lead, nobody's able to come and take it. See, these guys are small. Everybody brings giant versions of what they have. They're full size. You guys brought little ones. Got a little boot. Save me money. Fire pit. Zomstri, we do on-demand manufacturing, click, drag, and upload a file, get instant pricing online, and I mean instant. So as soon as you upload a file here, the price and lead time will show up right there. And you're able to go and check out right now, or you can further configure your quotes. So for people who just need parts, we can price out in CNC machine, 3D printing, sheet metal, uh, urethane cast, injection molding. Under 3D printing, it's like 100 different materials uh, are, and seven different processes available for that. But the beauty of this is we have this storefront, we're getting this work in, and we give that work to small business manufacturers. Salmon has this manufacturing partner network that is 3,000 strong, and these are machinists, fabricators, uh, printing bureaus. So essentially it's a high temperature uh, industrial grade machine. The build volume is 18 by 18 by 32. Two, uh, two extruders and they get up to 475 seat. Are they direct driven on the extruder or are you going Bowden style? No, they're direct drive. But it's open so you can select anybody else's material if you want. Add -ons that are yeah. We don't want you to use other people's filament but we're not going to lock it down so you can. So we make the machine in uh, Grand Rapids. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not making use proprietary filament. <laughs> Novel thought. <laughs> it's like the most irritating thing in the printer world. Pretty irritating. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're at your most when you're kind of out, and then it'll, it'll give you an assist up, uh, not straight up, but most of the way up. It's going to give you assist. So it conforms to what you're working on. There's some good, there's some good video here, so you can see. If it hits me, I'm not going to get hurt. Polish that up real quick. So Pier's been around for 60 years. It's not a fly-by-night thing. So this one here advances like a vice. It's non-spin, non-swivel, right? So your material's not going to walk on you. Try doing that with a swivel clamp. 
virtually impossible. So that's the kind of quickness you can get and the versatility in the applications. Yeah, so those are the essential differences there. Now they have a full line. They got a six inch jaw, five inch jaw. The big guy here does uh, about 5,000 pounds and he got all the lengths. This is amazing. going in there. Nope, don't do it. Start recording live. Oh, stop, really? Don't make any really? mistakes. No, don't you're not. Mistakes. We're live on YouTube right now. There's not a chance that's accurate. Oh, oh no. Hey, guys. Oh, <laughs> Smoke smells good. Alrighty y'all, that's been the FabTech trip. I want to give a big thank you to all the companies that took time to tell me about their products, to Stu from Yellow Mug for hosting me while I was into Chicago, and for Brian right here for hosting me on the trip. It's great to have a warm bed to sleep in. Until next time guys, thanks for stopping by.